What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. How much does freedom cost? Shout out to TPOT, Brother X, uh, for having me on this panel last night. And then something sparked this conversation where, you know, it's a capitalistic country and people want to be free. And to be free, you have to buy your freedom in America. But the question is, how much does it cost? I, I think a lot of us don't take into the into um, account the practical application of how much it actually costs. So if you are a home renter slash owner, you won't be free until your, until your mortgage is paid off, but you will pay taxes every on that home every year. So to be free, you know, you're going to have to pay the home off. But you're going to have enough income. Going to have to have enough income to make sure you pay the taxes yearly, and the you know bills of the household, and even maintenance fees. So when you suss that out of for a, a normal lifetime, which at this particular point, I would say the lifespan, depending on the people, maybe between sixty-five and eighty plus years, right? So how much does freedom cost? Now you got to add to that cars. And you got to add to that credit cards. And you got to add to that family. And you start counting this up. What is your number? Because a lot of us know we want, quote unquote, freedom. And freedom in America is financial freedom. But what is the number? Like, how much do you need at what age to be good? And I'm not saying to retire as in never work again. I'm saying, you know, how much do you need to say, oh, I can live comfortably, comfortably for the rest of my life once I hit this number. And along the way, what are the skills you've learned? Did you learn to, for, you, for the business owners, the business brings in money. For you people who aren't business owners, are you investing? Does your investments bring you residual income? Or are you a person, you know, with a, just with a job? Or are you a, a, a mix of two or three of those things, you know? And I kind of realized that at this particular point, America is so financially illiterate, it's banking off the fact that you don't know how much your freedom costs. You have no idea because you got people with the student loans. That's not taking away time. That's taking away your freedom. You know, you got the housing market. That's not just time. That's freedom. You got um, the necessities. That's not taking away time. That's taking away freedom. You know, and with this, co this country has this overabundant need for leisure so a lot of what people want to do is make enough money to just spend money doing stuff that you probably shouldn't be spending money on or, or a lot of money. So what's interesting is how much is your freedom worth to you? Because some people might hit a number and blow it on clothing, you know, a woman got arrested uh, in Houston for PPP loans. She bought a house uh, for $600,000. She bought another house for a quarter million dollars. And she literally spent $64,000 in a Chanel store, like $70,000 in Neiman Markets. Uh, I want to say it was like Gucci or something, another like $50,000. Like she literally spent the price of a home on clothes, because it was like Saks, Neiman Markets, Chanel, Hermes. And I thought about it then. I was like, you know, where are our priorities? Not to mention family and kids. You know, how much is your freedom cost from your family? Where, you know, they might chart you. <laughs> they might be your biggest expense in life because they're always asking for something. 
Not to mention, you know, if you get tickets or if you wind up going, uh, getting arrested, you know, overcharged for things or whatever, whatever the case may be, right? The, the inconveniences of life. How much does it, does it take? Does it take you to have, you know, say a paid off house and a job that pays, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars a year or between but but some people have a different lifestyle some people want to make mansion how does that have how does that help you you don't know because a lot of people don't take it into consideration what they really need or and your needs opposed opposed to your wants and normally your wants will get you broken your needs uh or will have you set for life so ultimately, if America is a capitalistic country, what is your number? And if you don't know that, you don't know how much your freedom costs. So I'm done with this one. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and peace.